ओके हाय एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग सीरीज फॉर प्रोबेबिलिटी चैप्टर्स एक्सरसाइजेस फ्रॉम मोड्यूल ओके सो आई एम प्लानिंग टू कवर ऑल द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ नियरली एवरी चैप्टर सो अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस एंड एडिशनल क्वेश्चन बैंक्स आर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड ऑन द चैनल सो लेट्स गो टू प्रोबेबिलिटी नाउ सिंस अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वर आस्किंग फॉर इट सो विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विथ सेट सी विच इज अ बिट टफ दैन अदर टू सेट्स all three sets are equally tougher but still uh, c has some good questions as compared to a and b challenging questions so just few rules as usual before we start the lecture will be completely in english so that everyone will be able to understand and it will be in simple english so that should not be an issue second uh, this set i'm solving this is from exam point of view we are going to see how the questions can be solved within 1 minute preferably okay so i am not going to go into concepts much deeper if you want to go to concepts if you want to learn concepts i have full free and revision lectures uploaded on the channel you can go through them right now we are go only, only going to focus on mcq solving within 1 minute that's it okay ideally you should have solved this first and then only come to the video otherwise it will not be of much use okay let's try to solve at least first 10 questions in this video chalo In probability questions, it is very important that you think of sequence. Sequence means what? What happens first? Then what happens? Then what happens? And you must remember two rules. What two rules? In probability and in sets, or means union, or addition. Okay. In terms of permutations of probability, I'll explain how this works. And means intersection. and means multiplication okay this chart is very important for sets probability and permutations combinations okay so let's start with first question you can note this down somewhere it is very important what is the probability that a leap year selected at random would contain 53 saturdays okay how to approach this question see first of all there are 52 weeks in a year so in a leap year there are 366 days right so 366 days can you check Which number below 366 is divisible by 7? If we see 364, 364 is exactly divisible by 7, which is 52 weeks, right? So that means we'll have 52 weeks. What 52 weeks? First Jan, second Jan, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This will be one week. Then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This will be second week, and so on. We'll have 52 such weeks, right? 52 weeks and we will have two days extra okay so the last week will be like this this will be week 1 this will be week 2 3 4 5 and so on 52nd week will be like this it will end on see there are two extra days right 364 days only we have considered but in a year there are 366 days so let's skip last two days 30 and 31st december so 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 this will be the 52nd week right and there will be two extra days 30 31 december 30th and 31st december now understand only this is one day all these dates will be on single day either monday or tuesday or thursday or something like that right again this will all be on same day only these two days are occurring 53 times all others are occurring 52 times only understand 52 52 52 and so on that means if we want a leap year to have 53 saturdays then saturday has to be either on this day or this day saturday has to be on this day or this day or is addition what is probability that this day will be saturday there are seven days in a uh, year, uh, in a week right so probability that it will be exactly saturday is one out of seven or this second day should be saturday which is again one out of seven So one plus one by seven plus one by seven is two by seven, which is our final answer. Next, if an unbiased coin is tossed three times, always think of denominator first. Coin is tossed three times, that means denominator will be one coin and second coin and third coin, and is multiplication. So one coin and second coin and third coin. So denominator is eight, right? What is the probability of getting more than one head? We can solve this manually. So there are eight combinations in total possible. So more than one head will be what? H H T H T H T H H and H H H. So there are four possibilities. So four by eight is half. 
which is the answer if two unbiased dice are rolled what is the probability of getting points neither 6 nor 9 neither 6 nor 9 that means we we want total to be neither 6 nor 9 it has to be something else so what we can do is we'll take total probability 1 and from that we will subtract probability of 6 or 9 right so let's do it uh, 1 minus again denominator first denominator two dice are rolled one dice has six possibilities and second dice has six possibilities so 6 into 6 36 now how many combinations are possible for six total let's check 1 5 2 4 3 then 4 2 and 5 1 okay so there are five possible combinations for six or or is addition For nine, how many poss uh, possible combinations are there? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So for nine, how many possible combinations are there? Three, six, four, five, five, four, six, three. So there are four possible combinations. So four. So what is the answer? Five plus four is nine. One minus nine by thirty-six. Nine by thirty-six is what? One by four. So three by four is the answer, which is point seventy-five option C. Okay. Let's go ahead. Next is again a good question. What is the probability that four children selected at random would have different birthdays? Four children selected at random. Now understand different birthdays means what? Let's say out of infinite kids, we selected one kid. We selected one kid. Now that one kid can have any birthday, right? He can have any birthday because we have not selected anyone yet. We want everything to be different. Okay. We want everything to be different, and we have not selected anyone yet. So the first kid will have a different birthday, obviously. So he can have any possible birthday, which is 365 out of 365. Any day is fine. Hmm. And and now we select second kid. Now the problem is, let's say, let's assume that this first kid has birthday on 2nd June, which is today's date when I'm recording this. 2nd June. Now that second kid. should have birthday which is different than 2nd june right so that means for him there are only 364 possibilities out of 365 correct let's say his birthday is on something 10th december now we are uh, selecting third kid now his birthday should be on any day except 2nd june and 10th december that means there are 363 possible ways and similarly for fourth kid there are 362 possible ways okay this gets cancelled So denominator is 365 cube and numerator is 364 32. So A is the correct answer. Fifth is a good question, although you know you can only solve one part of it. Let's read. A box contains five white and seven black balls. Always better to draw. Okay, five white, seven black. Next, two successive balls of three balls are made. Draws of three balls are made. First is with replacement and without replacement. There are two questions. Okay, first let's consider with replacement. Okay, fine. The probability that the first draw will produce white balls and second draw will produce black balls are respectively how much? Let's see. Okay. Now out of these twelve balls, out of these twelve balls, we are drawing three balls at a time. Okay. So denominator, denominator is what all possibilities. All possibilities will be what 12 C3 because we are selecting three balls out of 12, right? Fine. So let's say for first draw we are selecting three balls. We want first draw to be white. We want them all white. We want all white balls. How many white do we have? We have five white. That means out of those five we want all three. Okay. I mean out of those five we want three white. Okay. We don't want anything out of this for first draw. Okay. And and there is second draw. Okay. Now think carefully. And is multiplication. Now at the time of second draw, the question says with replacement. With replacement means what? These three balls that we took out, white balls, we are keeping them back. Okay, we are keeping them back. So we kept them back. Now there are again twelve balls in the bag. That means again denominator is twelve C three. But now we want all three balls black. That means out of these seven, we have to select three. Right. So this will be our answer, whatever this is, right? Let's check. What is 5C3? 10. What is 7C3? Just a second. 
Yeah, sorry. So what is seven C three? Seven six five by six thirty five. Upon what is twelve C three? Two twenty into two twenty. Okay. You can reduce it if you want, or or just calculate a fraction. Thirty five by twenty two by two twenty. So this is zero point zero zero seven two three one. We can check from options which option gives us this. So point zero zero seven two three one. Check option one. Six by three twenty one. No. One by twenty. No. Thirty five by one forty four. No. Seven by nine sixty eight. Yes. Okay. So this is our correct answer. So obviously option D is going to be the answer. But still, let us try this also without replacement. Okay. Again, there are five white and seven black balls. Now this is without replacement. Again, we have first draw and second draw. Okay, first draw and second draw. Now again, at the time of first draw, there are twelve balls out of which we are drawing three, and we want all of them to be white. Okay, we want all of them to be white, so it is same. And now we have already taken out three balls, and we are not replacing them without replacement. So what we'll do? We'll remove those three balls. Now we have only two white balls. Okay. Now again, how many total balls are there? Nine. Out of nine, we have to draw three, and all of them have to be black. So out of seven, we have to draw three. So let's do that. Five C three is again ten into seven C three is again what we calculated thirty five. Upon twelve C three also we calculated two twenty into nine C three which is eighty four. Okay, so what are this is ten into thirty five by two twenty by eighty four, which is zero point zero one eight nine three recurring something like that. Okay, let's check if this option gives us the same. Yes. Right, so D is the correct answer. Okay. Next sixth, there are three boxes with following composition: box one, box two, box three, red, white, blue balls. If one ball is drawn at random, what is the probability that they would be of same color? If one ball is drawn at random, they are not saying from which box we are drawing that ball. Okay. So that means that ball can be from. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I read the question wrong. If one ball is drawn at random, then if one ball is drawn at random from each box, okay. then what is the probability that they would be of same color? Now this is easy. Same color means what? Either all will be red, or all will be white, or all will be blue. Okay. Or or means addition. So we have to take all will be red, or all will be white, or all will be blue. Now all will be red means what? Box one ball will be red, right? The ball drawn from this box will be red. What is the probability of that? We are drawing only one ball, so it will be five out of whatever is the total. What is the total? Five, seven, six, eighteen. And and second box also has to be red, which is four out of again what? Four plus eight plus six, eighteen. And third box also has to be red, so that is three out of. What three, four, and two, nine? Okay. This is for red, or they can be white. White means what? Again, there are seven white, so seven out of eighteen, uh, and eight out of eighteen, and four out of eighteen. Or all can be blue. All can be blue means what? Six out of eighteen, and six out of eighteen, and two out of nine. Okay, sorry, this was nine. So we can calculate this on calculator now. Five by eighteen into four by eighteen into three by nine m plus seven by eighteen into eight by eighteen into four by nine m plus six by eighteen into six by eighteen into two by nine m plus. If you press MRC, we get zero point one two two zero eight five. Let's check which option it is. Eighty nine by seven twenty nine option A is the correct answer. Okay. Correct. So these uh, questions of drawing the balls are good questions. So try them. Seven, a number is selected at random from first thousand natural numbers. What is the probability that it will be multiple of seven or eleven? Seven or eleven, or is union or addition? Hmm. Fine. So this is question from AP, but we can solve it in a shortcut way. Seven or eleven. That means seven un. Uh, sorry, seven union eleven. That means probability that it will be multiple of seven or It will be multiple of eleven minus probability. It will be multiple of seven and eleven both. 
because there will be some numbers which will be divisible by 7 also and 11 also so we don't want to count them twice okay fine now there are 1000 numbers in total how many numbers are divisible by 7 it is very easy to check in one second one see for example for example can you tell me up to 70 how many numbers are there which are divisible by 7 we know that answer is 10 because 7 into 10 is 70 right so we can just find it out by doing 70 by 7 which is 10 if i ask up to 73 how many numbers are there which are divisible by 7 the answer will still be 10 how because 70 is the last number right so what you can do is if you do 73 by 7 it is 10.428 so we can just ignore this fractional part and this 10 is our answer right that so similarly up to 1000 if we want to check how many numbers are divisible by 7 just do 1000 by 7 which is how much 142 point something so 142 numbers or 1000 by 11 which is 90 minus now 7 and 11 both means LCM of 7 and 11 which is 77 so 1000 by 77 which is 12 12.98 so 12 right so 142 plus 90 minus 12 that is 220 divided by 1000 220 divided by 1000 is how much 0 0.22 option C ok next 8 a bag contains 8 red and 5 white balls ok 8 red 5 white 2 successive draws of 3 balls are made again similar without replacement without replacement probability that the first draw will produce 3 white and second 3 uh, red is ok so at the time of first draw we have how many balls in total 8 plus 5 13 so we are drawing 3 out of 13 we want them to be all white there are 5 white balls right so we want 5 c3 and and now we are not replacing it that means white balls will reduce and only 2 white balls will be remaining that means now only 10 balls are remaining so 10 c3 out of them we want all red all red means 8 c3 because there are 8 red balls so this is our answer let's check 5 c3 is 10 8 c3 is 56 13 c3 is 286 10 c3 is 120 let's do it on calculator 10 into 56 by 286 by 120 which is 0 0.01631 let's check from options directly uh, first is not correct second no third is correct 7 by 429 okay fine so last two for this video there are two boxes containing 5 white 6 blue and 3 white 7 blue balls okay let's draw the boxes first 5 white 6 blue and 3 white 7 if one of the boxes is selected at random and and a ball is drawn from it then probability that the ball is blue is there are two events happening here we have to select a box and we have to select a ball right that means it is possible that we have we select box 1 randomly right so it is possible we select box 1 and then blue ball or or we select box 2 and then blue ball so it is very simple what is probability of selecting box 1 there are only two boxes right so probability of selecting box 1 is half and is multiplication now in box 1 what is probability of drawing blue ball it is 6 out of 11 total so 6 by 11 or or is addition box 2 again probability of selecting second box is half and blue ball so there are 7 blue balls out of 10 total right so again let's do it on calculator directly 1 by 2 into 6 by 11 sorry 1 by 2 into 6 by 11 m plus 1 by 2 into 7 by 10 m plus if you press mrc you get 0 0.6227 recurring so let's check option c 137 by 220 that is the uh, correct answer for this